Hi everyone, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're going to throw down some cards for Leo this morning for the second half of April. I know I'm a little bit late. I apologize. Um, earlier this week, it was cold and windy and damp and my arthritis was kicking up. So when my hands don't want to work, it's really hard to throw the cards down. But the air and the light is different. The sun is shining. It's trying to warm up a little bit around here. So I'm going to take advantage of the positive vibes and the good energy and throw down as many cards as I can to try to get this cycle done by the end of the weekend. So, this reading will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It'll be a general reading. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. The message you can give the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay. Again, it is a general reading. It is not going to resonate with it real Leo. You can either just disregard the entire thing and forget you ever saw it, or you can check your moon rising or Venus signs, or you can do both. I mean, whatever you want to do. Oftentimes, our moon rising and Venus signs may resonate better than... our sun sign. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. I'm going to play out from the perspective of a cross watcher and you guys are welcome here too. Come on in and have a seat. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate everyone who stops by to hang out with me for a little bit. I always try to keep it light and make it fun. Sometimes the cards don't want to cooperate though. Can't always be sunshine and roses. All right, one more shuffle for Leo, and I think we'll have it. Leo, why are you here? Temperance. You could be dealing with Sagittarius. Good energy. Things are flowing. You could be exercising patience with the situation right now. Or you could just be dealing with Sagittarius. You know. We'll see what comes out. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with, Leo? King of Cups reversed. Emotionally closing off. Possibly losing the feels. What do you think of them? Nine of Pentacles. They're extremely independent. They got them. Could be very business minded, very money minded. You may think they don't need you. What do you want from them? Five of Cups. Mm. Display is very open ended. The Five of Cups indicates sadness. We're going to get some clarity before I speak on this card anymore. I know where my thoughts are going, but I don't want to ruin the rest of the reading. So, how do they feel about you, Ten of Wands? The card of burdens. The card of burdens being released, if you look in the background, that's a dawn. That's the sun coming up after a long dark night. Depending on your perspective. I mean, it could be the sun setting on something. Again, we'll get clarity. Don't want to ruin it. What do they think of you? Two of Pentacles. 
you're out of balance. They think you're juggling something emotionally. They think you're having trouble making a decision. What do they want from you? Four of Swords in the reverse. Restless energy. What's the challenge? Six of Wands. The challenge is victory. The challenge is a return. It's a card of victory. It's a card of return. It's a card of coming back after the battle. There may have been fights and feuds here. What needs to be done? King of Pentacles in the reverse. So, oh, okay. I just heard someone needs to stop the overbearing. Might be what the feud's about. Again, not going to speak until I get clarity. What's the outcome? Five of Pentacles in the reverse. That's awesome. That That's someone coming out of the cold. Feuds. Petty arguments. Okay. Let's clarify with Bianca Noir. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get clarity in the cards in the table for Leo, please? I uprighted all the cards before I started, so it's going to take a little bit longer to mix them up. I'll be notified when it's time to stop. <laughs> so if I sit here and shuffle for a little bit, I apologize. I'm not here to try to put you to sleep. I'm really not. Feeling one more. Okay, clarity on the temperance. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Things may not be equal. There's positive energy flow, but no equal give and take. Why is the King of Cups reversed here? Six of Swords reversed.
you feel that they're emotionally closed off. Their thoughts are with someone else. And you can feel it. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? I might go back and get another clarifier on that Six of Swords reversed later, but Star Reversed came out. <laughs> They're good. They're independent on their own, but there's something they haven't healed from yet. They're still fighting the war. I think they're so strong and they're so independent because they've had to be. Sometimes it be it sometimes it be that way. Especially in relationships. We're gonna go back to keeping old energies around and regurgitating the same outcomes in repeated relationships. Jumping in before you're ready. Am I starting to make sense? Why is the Five of Cups here for what Leo wants from the other person? Why is the Five of Cups here? Oh, hi. Two of you decided you wanted to pop out. Okay. The Queen of Wands and the Two of Pentacles reversed. You want them to stop juggling emotionally. You want them to make up their mind. I don't think they've made up their mind about you yet. You're trying to hand them the two cups, Leo. You're trying to hand them a blessing. But they can't see it because they're still stuck back here on these three cups of the coulda, woulda, shouldas in their past relationship. You want to move forward with them. You're the king of wands and you want them to be your queen or vice versa and the sexes of the cards don't matter. You want the fiery passion. You want the get up and go. Okay. Why is the Ten of Wands here for how the other person feels about Leo? The Queen of Cups reversed and the Six of Wands. Wow, okay. They are still burdened. That's why they're so emotionally closed off. But they feel like they could have victory with you. They feel like the battle could end with you. But they're still carrying a burden.
or their thoughts are somewhere else. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for what the other person thinks of Leo? Page of Cups. Yes, you're trying to hand them a cup. A little more clarity on that, please. Thanks. Ace of Pentacles. They're getting the sweet messages. They think there's potential for the start of something abundant and wonderful, but they're still juggling emotionally. Why is the Four of Swords reversed here for what the other person wants of Leo? King of Pentacles reversed. The Four of Swords is reversed because they haven't come through the... Fr th 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 if I could make words work. They haven't come through the Three of Swords yet. They're still in that state of heartbreak. They took some baggage with them. The King of Pentacles has a tendency to not necessarily smother with love, but smother with offerings and everything else. You want to give them the world. You want to give them everything. You want to give them two cups. You want to get this going. You want energy to flow. You want this to work, Leo. They aren't ready. They want you to ease up a little. Yeah, they know. They know you have a ton to offer. They know. Right now, they're good. They're good financially. They're independent. They got them. Do you want to be there for somebody because they need you there? Because they want you there. You see the difference between those two words? Need and want? Just think about that for a second. Just think about it. Just for kicks. Can I get a clarifier on that Six of Swords reverse, please? Just for kicks. Nine of Wands. Their guard is up. Their thoughts are with other people. They're emotionally closed off. That's all I need to know about that. Why is the Six of Wands here? Thank you, the hanged man. What's up? Okay, let me finish this reading. Give me a couple of minutes, okay? Go watch TV. Shut the door. <laughs> and stop talking like you too. I love you. Okay, give me a couple minutes. The hanged man. The challenge here is acceptance. The challenge here is getting to the place of victory. The challenge here is getting through the battle. The 
you may need to accept each other. That that's just the way y'all are. Specifically, if Leo is dealing with Sagittarius. <laughs> I, I've lived that. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> True acceptance and coming through the battle. Someone is fighting an emotional war here. Someone isn't through a heartbreak. Someone still needs to heal. And someone needs to stop pushing. Why is the King of Pentacles reversed here? I already know why, but we're going to throw a clarifier on it anyway. Page of Swords. Communication. Talking about it, having the conversation, being able to sit down and say, I think this could go somewhere wonderful and abundant. I know that the feelings here were running deep. I know this has the potential to go somewhere, but I need my time. Having the honest conversation. Five of Pentacles reversed. Why are you here? I think I can stop there. This is the beginning of something wonderful and abundant. And this is the beginning of something emotionally fulfilling. This is the first cup of ten. This is the first pentacle of ten. And in order for something to begin, something else has to close. A burden has to be released. You put one foot in front of the other. Eight of cups in the reverse, ten of cups in the upright. When you walk away from something, you walk towards something else. You don't walk into nothingness. The path is not a void unless you make it one. The path can be one hell of a good time. But it's all about perspective and what you make of it. Sometimes you have to walk away from something that wasn't so emotionally abundant to find emotional abundance. Queen of Pentacles reversed, Ten of Swords reversed. It's okay to admit that you need somebody. It's okay to let your guard down. It's okay to let somebody in. But ultimately, you have to close one cycle out to start another. You have to close the cycle out to get to that place of emotional abundance. You can't sit there in the dark. If you want to plop your butt in the dark and dwell on something that didn't work out, you will never come out of that state of heartbreak. You will never come out of that state of sadness. 
you have to accept it for what it is. And you have to move forward. I think I'm talking more to the cross watcher than I am to Leo, but all things are time and fluid and vice versa. So whoever's taking something out of this, wonderful. That's what you're supposed to do. I don't do this for my health. I do this because I was called to do this. Anywho. Leo, my fire sign brothers and sisters, my friends, my countrymen, I get you. You guys are wonderful. You guys have been so supportive. I am grateful for all of you. Thanks for stopping by. This has been your message for the second half of April. Stay tuned um, later Friday night, early Saturday morning for the weekend top and bottom. I'm going to try to get it up and done today before I go to go to work, but as a lot of you know, Fridays are a little chaotic and they're not, qu not quite as chaotic as Monday, but Fridays are a little chaotic. So again, thanks for stopping by and we will catch you next time. Love you to bits.